So uh, the basic idea behind the Novicento is, uh, is very simple. Uh, looking at the last years, we had several concept bikes here, talking about Concept 90s, Concept R5 Homage and Concept Lynx, all very, very interesting and high visionary bikes. Uh, on the other hand, we thought this time we have to do something else. Obvious questions, what is the next thing? Um, and we thought, let's do something which is non-obvious. We tried to do things like touring, like pillion comfort, like panniers, like wind and weather protection, all these things which are perceived as not so super sexy. We try to do this very, very emotional. So these highlights are, first of all, the, the, the pannier system, which right now you don't see it. Uh, pannier system, which is a very new system. You just click it on, click it off. It uh, enlarges the seat, the, the, the seat position for the pillion rider. Uh, secondly, the, all the front fairing with these floating panels, which enable us to make the whole thing very tight and small looking, very sporty looking. Uh, but protecting lots of wind and weather protection by uh, the, the floating effect, which creates uh, a, a lot of effects in the wind tunnel. I think this bike is especially for, let's say, normal motorbike guys. These guys who want to do everything with a the bike, they want to tour on the bike, they want to have protection, they want to have a little bit of comfort, they need, uh, they need the luggage. Uh, and for these guys, we wanted to do these these necessities in a very, very emotional way. This is what we try to do here. So it's for the normal customers. For example, people who want to go from Como to Munich to Como, you need to go out of Bonn, you need to ne you have some comfort, you need to have some luggage, uh, and you also want to give to do small, small Italian roads or Alpine passes. You can do all this with a bike. scientists is to enable a motorcycle to support inattentive drivers in dangerous situations at crossroads when turning off or braking quickly, similar to what cars do already. In this project it was not our goal to develop a fully automated motorcycle. We want to improve motorcycle safety. It's the proof that the underlying dynamic model is detailed enough to cope with the whole riding dynamics. So we can use that knowledge to develop further comfort and safety systems. For more than two years, the Munich scientists have spent hundreds of hours in testings on the track. Now the prototype is to be optimized to such an extent that one or the other safety support may soon be installed in new motorcycles. Thank you.